bar was built in 1898 by a British uh, architect named Regent Alfred John Bidwell. A bar is unique in the sense that it lacks verandas compared to other black and white houses, and it also has an asymmetrical L-shaped plan to take advantage of the views from the north and northeast. There are many rooms that you can explore in the Barrow House. So one of the first rooms you can go into is, uh, goes into the historical uh, origins and background behind the design of a Barrow House and a turret. The next room uh, is called Singapore's Living Forest. So it highlights some of the installation pieces of Singapore's native trees. Moving on to the next room, which is the Forest Conservation Gallery. So it goes into more detail, more in-depth details about the different type of forest in Singapore. So these uh, exhibits also feature a lot of interactive panels uh, and displays that uh, families and children can interact with. And we also have uh, special uh, child height uh, panels. And as for other rooms, uh, such as the Nature Explorer Zone and the Pangolin Room, so these are kind of uh, activity space for us to conduct outreach activities uh, and for the public to attend workshops or storytelling sessions uh, in the school holidays and beyond. The Singapore Botanic Gardens Botanical Art Gallery is situated in uh, Gallup House 7. It was built in 1906 by architect Bidwell, who is the same architect who also designed the Raffles Hotel, uh, Guru Hotel and other historic buildings in Singapore. And it houses for the first time uh, the collection of botanical artworks uh, held at the Singapore Botanic Gardens archives. and includes more than 2,000 uh, pieces of watercolours as well as hundreds of photographs, printing blocks as well as line drawings, sketches, manuscripts and other materials. We also have uh, an activity room which is dedicated to children and the children can come in this room and at their own piece they can learn the basics of botanical art and illustration 